open uh, eBay style. So let's get it. And as always, good luck, everybody. Alrighty. So four boxes. I think this is the last case we have of this. Thank God. Because it takes forever to fill. Black and gold. You've never met Abraham? Damn, the Jazz are killing it like that. Nice. All right, I'm just going to open up all this stuff here. Oh, I was almost howling. Yeah, that's kind of kind of what I do sometimes. I'm just weird. I'm just a weirdo. What can I tell you? Just gonna open up everything here. If anyone's, you know, magically interested, I could do the Chiefs and the Jaguars in flawless number two for three hundred and fifty dollars. Both teams for three fifty. You know, I would go lower than that, but do keep in mind I'm giving away either a hundred dollar break credit or a hundred dollars worth of product once that break is full. We got a, a Royals uh, poster here. That's pretty cool. Shout out to the Royals picking up the posters. Those posters are pretty rare too. Am I finally gonna see an Otani? That is the question. All right, I opened up all the boxes. Got all the packs out here. Now I just got to open them.
All right, looks like Flawless is going to be full. Give me a second here. Yeah, I've, I yo, I've never, I've never hit an Otani uh, autograph out of this uh, product heritage. I've hit a couple, actually, I've hit a few Otani autographs in Donruss baseball, uh, but not in heritage. All right, uh, I believe flawless number two is full. So flawless number two will be done after this. John Johnson in the house. My boy wants some Diamondbacks loving. Let's see what I can do for you, my dude. On card autographs, Tomas, uh, with the exception of the plates, plates or sticker autographs. But yeah, man, the leaf metal is nice stuff. Five autographs per box. Decent stuff. Decent stuff. All right, so flawless number two is sold out. So I'm going to be breaking that flawless after I'm done with this. Alright, Doug, if you're watching, I got your payment, my dude. Thank you, man. Kevin doing his research on that leaf metal. One thing I haven't been checking is the eBay stuff. Maybe you want to give this a shot, Kevin. Let me uh, see if I can find it here. It's uh, two boxes 
or I should say we do one box of Leaf Metal Draft. Each spot is going to get a random autograph. The lowest number autograph wins a second box all to themselves. $36 a spot, five spots. You get to keep an autograph. And if you have the lowest number card, you get to win another. An entire box, I should say. Good old heritage, Tomas. But, I mean, this stuff is selling like crazy. People looking for those Otani autos, man. I think this is the last case we have of it, though. I don't think we have any more. I remember that. We did back-to-back -back full casers. I think that was that night that was like, that was crazy as fuck, right? Wasn't that that night? I think I was streaming until like 4 in the morning, my time. And uh, we had like Mike Gerber and the boys, I think. Ridiculous. Had, it, had that not had happened, I, I would probably still be breaking heritage. It's good stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's nice. We just put way too much BS in here. Way too many base cards. Not enough autographs. But I guess that's the good part. You know, that way when you do hit an autograph, it's extremely rare. Especially those red inks. What's crazy, Tomas, was I think you bought a personal box of this. And you hit a fucking Mike Trout red auto. On a personal box. Insane. I think that was you. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Could you imagine if they chopped the base set of this by half? Sell it crazy. No, but there are people out there that do, you know, build sets and whatnot, so. You got a little bit of something here for everybody. Oh, you had the Correa. Who was it that hit that uh, the the Mike Trout red ink off of personals? I thought that was you, Tomas. It must have been somebody else. I don't know. I can't remember who. Shout outs to that person. Yeah, it was numbered to like 15 or something like that. Whatever the red inks are numbered to. I was about to say, you don't know how to fucking type, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, dude, this weekend is going to be lit. Playoffs, baby.
Well, Tomas, that's really up to you, man. You tell me when you want me to break it, I'll do it. So if you want me in here bright and early, I'll, I'll fucking drag my ass out of bed. If you want it to be the last thing I do, then it'll be the last thing I do. It's up to you. Yo, Donovan Mitchell. I hope Donovan Mitchell wins Rookie of the Year. Ben Simmons talking about he don't see he he didn't see any other rookies that impressed him. Really, Ben Simmons? I mean, Ben. Don't get me wrong. Ben Simmons is a fucking beast, but he is not a rookie. Well, Tomas, I mean, per I personally, you know me, I don't care. If it gets backed up, it gets backed up. It is what it is. That's what I'm saying, Edgar. That's what I'm saying. You know, I, I was reading an article on ESPN where the article is uh, Jazz's Mitchell dons a hoodie that defines rookie. And in the article, it's basically uh, Ben Simmons had an interview on ESPN uh, I think like last week where he and I see the interview he's like oh you know I didn't see any rookies that impressed me this year you know I think I'm the rookie of the year by far like it's not even close blah 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 uh, and in the entire time I'm thinking bro this is your second year you did not get drafted this year you got drafted last year bruh bruh you know it's not your fault you got hurt but you're not a rookie bro <laughs> Technically, you are not a rookie, so whatever. So I'm I'm looking forward to the Jazz making some noise in the playoffs. He's mad. mad. Well, Malcolm, Malcolm Brogdon did really good last year. Kind of took a bit of a step back. The well, actually, all of the Bucks took a step back this year. Um, but you know, we'll see. All right, let's see what's in this uh, heritage. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. Now I know there are short prints and uh, and all types of loveliness in this, but to save time, I'm not gonna sleeve every single base or short print or you know blase blah. I got sorters for that. I pay them. Let them earn their money. Uh, Michael Conforto of the Mets, though, to nine nine nine. Gotta gotta sleep that up. And then we got cards like these with multiple teams that we got a random. So I'm mostly looking for a see. That's a short print. Well, actually, no, that's not a short print. I lied. That one is. Brad Ziegler Marlins with the black border. That's a short print. So I'm mostly looking for error cards and things like that. My sorters will go through this thing with a fine comb for the uh, short prints and whatnot. Otherwise, we'd be here forever. Ain't nobody got time for that. Got a random that, the flashback cards. It's been a while since I've done Heritage. It's been a while, it's been a while. There's an autograph. 
Trey Mancini. That's a good one. Blue ink on card autograph for the Orioles. There we go. What a blast. I just started this. And that's the, the monster so far. Alright. Uh, well, Blaz, I got to tell you, I am not sad at all because breaking this stuff is uh, is about as fun as watching paint dry. Just, just giving you the raw deal. And sorting this thing, oh my god. What is this? This is four boxes. Dude, to sort four boxes takes at least two hours. Because we got to go through every single individual card to make sure that there are no short prints that we pass by. But you got to look at the code on the back of the card. It's just too tedious. Too tedious. Well, we did hit one autograph at least. Hopefully we can get another one. Or you go save it for the summer. Tom I mean the the winter, Tomas. And uh and burn that some bitch. Excuse me. That is a short print that I could not ignore. Ahmed Rosario, Mets. It's actually an action image. Uh, no, John Johnson, I did not pass an autograph. Uh, likely what you saw is the deco cards, which are not autographs. They are fake autos. They're not in here. Where's a decal that I can show you? If you mean these, this is not an autograph. That is not an autograph. That's an autograph. All right, let's keep it going. Got to look for those error cards there. That is not an autograph, see? That's so a decal. Got to look for those errors. A Bat Boy card would be pretty fucking awesome. Now you're probably screaming, oh man, he's passed so many base short prints. I know I have. Trust me. But in the interest of time, letting my, uh, letting my, 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 my sorters handle that. First time breaking basketball, John Johnson. What team you got in this, my dude? There's a Dodger patch. Corey Seager. With the patch for the Dodgers. Got a little chromey. Elvis Andrus of the Rangers. That's to 999. 
Good luck to you, John Johnson. See if we can get you something nice, man. That's a short print. That's the uh, color swap card right there, an error. As you can see, the letterings are yellow. This one's white. Manny Machado, Orioles, the color swap error card. Got a random the flashbacks. Excuse me. Another deco. Maybe an Otani like base card or something, maybe? I mean something here. Adrian Beltre, Rangers Black. That's a short print. Patch for Billy Hamilton of the Reds. Come on. Another deck. Does anyone collect the flashbacks and other the other inserts? My boy Mark would like to know. How many autos per box on the Heritage? <laughs> Edgar, there are no guaranteed autographs per box in Heritage. You're either going to get an autograph or a relic. So let's do some numbers here. In a case of this, we're talking 12 boxes. Out of those 12 boxes in a case, three or four will have autographs. So, 
if you want to do the numbers, about a fourth of an entire case has an auto, or one in every four boxes has an autograph. Uh, Verdugo and Bueller for the Dodgers to 999. So it is very tough to hit in this stuff. Very, very tough. Like, it's not even funny. Hell yeah, because they're extremely rare, Edgar. Extremely rare. All right, last uh, box mojo here. That's an action image. Rice Hoskins Phillies. Deckle there. Another deckle. That little refractor. John Lester of the Cubs. That is number two, five sixty nine. Watch out for those error cards. What up, Nicholas? Well, here's a patch for the Rangers, Cole Hamels. Right there. Is here. At least an Otani like base or come on. All right, Nicholas. Well, I already filled flawless, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do flawless number two after I'm done with this. Ooh, that's an error card. I don't know if you can see it. We have nine, it's 1969 right there on the Cubs. That's an error card. It should say 2017. Instead, it says 1969. That's a, a rookie cup error card right there. Ian Hap Cubs. Nice. Stack Mojo. Deco. A mini for Marcus Stroman of the Blue Jays. That's number to 100. Minis are pretty rare. And that's it for the break. What are you sad about? Yeah, about two or three autographs per case on average. Uh, not easy to hit in this at all. All right, so that's it for the break. So before I recap it, I do need to uh, do a little bit of a random here. As you can see, I got cards with three teams, teams with two. The flashbacks, we got to random all this stuff off here. Make sure it goes to a nice, happy home. 
where they're going to get fed and all that other nice stuff. All right, boom. Well, actually, no, Nicholas. I have more of it. That's just the last one out of that case. I think Barcelona lost uh, by three points today, Tomas, against Roma. I do have more cases of it, Nicholas. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for more, I got more. I just got to sell out that, that case that I have in there now. All right, so this is three. Yeah, man, I saw. I saw. All right, so let's random this stuff. Here's my die. I need to actually move this. So first thing we're going to random is this. I believe it's 16, Nicholas. So we have a left side and we have a right side. If I get an odd number, it goes to the left side team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. After this, Pappy, here we go. The number eight, even. So it's going to the right side team. So this one goes to the Indians, the Royals, I'm sorry, Indians, Dodgers, Mariners, and Yankees. So uh, let me make a note of this. Now I have one with three. So for this one, I'm going to make it simple for myself. If I get the number one or two, the left side team. Three or four, the middle team. Five or six, the right side team. Here we go. The number two, the left side team. So it goes to Yankees, Rockies, Nationals, Marlins, uh, Dodgers, Dodgers, Indians, Indians, Mariners, Red Sox, Rockies, Nationals, Yankees, Ma uh, Marlins, Dodgers, Indians, Mariners, Indians, Dodgers. Uh, one of my homies over on Facebook. Three teams going to the left side team. And we also have one with four teams. Which is this one. Now for this one, I'm I am gonna use the uh, the randomizer. Make my life a little bit easier. So early I rolled eight on this die, so I'm gonna just use that number uh, for how many times I'm gonna go in the randomizer. So for this, I assign numbers. So I have the number one here, the number two, the number three, and the number four. All right. Shoutouts to Eric picking up the Steelers and Flawless number three. Flawless number two is full, so we'll be breaking that uh, as soon as I'm done with this here. Trying to pull up the randomizer, but it is taking forever right now. Come on, randomizer. Thank you. Uh, not yet, Nicholas, not yet. All right, so like I said, I put numbers. Got one, two, three, and four going eight times. Here we go. And the money shot eight. Boom. So the left side team wins, which is this side. So this one goes to Marlins, Astros, Astros, Marlins. That's not the last thing I need to random. Got to random these two. Let's see what? Well, actually, let's see what's in here. Ed Stroud of the Senators. 
in the buyback. Uh, the Seahawks are available in the third in the flawless case number three. It's on our website, uh, BrettRipCityCards.com. And remember, if you've never made a purchase on our website, you can save fifteen dollars off your first purchase when you register for a new account. Only at RipCityCards.com. That discount code gets emailed to you uh, after you register for an account. All right, let's see what's in these uh, box toppers here. All right, so we have the Orioles on the back, Indians, Red Sox, Rockies in the front. So, got to random that. And what's in this other box topper here? Cody Bellinger, Dodgers in the back, Yankees, Blue Jays, and then three teams here on the right. Uh, we also had a, uh, a poster, which is number 13 out of 30 for the Royals. All right, pretty cool. I'm going to take it all apart, but Royals getting in a poster, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to the good old randomizer. So same deal with this. Got to get random. Three teams on the front and a team on the back. So left, center, right teams, and a team on the back. So that's how we're going to do it in the randomizer. Uh, going eight times. So I have left, center. I think that's how you spell it in France with the E at the end. Uh, anyway, and then back. Eight times in the randomizer. Top spot wins. Here we go for the box toppers. We shot eight going to the left side team. So the left side team, this one would be Yankees and this one would be Indians. And we do have one last thing to random. That is the flashbacks. Uh, these get random between all teams. So let's come to the list randomizer. Let me get my teams here. As soon as this thing decides to work for me. Any day now. Alright. Copy and paste. All teams there. Top team wins the flashback cards going anytime. Here we go. Eight times, baby. Going to the Yankees. Yankees will be receiving the flashback cards. Where's my mouse? Come on. All right. So all these flashbacks are going to the Yankees. And to recap it, we have... Cole Hamels Rangers patch, Billy Hamilton Reds patch, Corey Seager Dodgers patch, and Trey Mancini of the Orioles autograph. And that was the break, you guys. 2018 Heritage Baseball 4-box break number 27. eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.